this time it was a glorious cover drive from Mahela Jayawardenam. There's the 100 up and what a shot it was. And that'll take his tally to six, I think. Oh no, the ball's slowing up. Might just be hauled in, it is, by Andrew Hall. So Jai Wardner goes to 50. No ball and a little wider. Jai Wardner onto it in a flash. And another four down to the third man area. Well, pick the bones out of that. That is a class player. Driven through the covers by Jai Wardner. Yet another boundary. Was there bat on it? Yes. The reaction of the batsman that came off the bat. First ball has been hit for four. And Jai Wardane gets his 15th Test Match 100. This kind of artistry from Mahela Jai Wardane is also to be expected. Once again, a very, very slow short delivery from Makaya Ntini. There it is! A double! His third double! The first six of the match, she's happy, they're happy, and what a partnership, what a knock! Great shot, that might go for four, a big screen for Andre now. Uh, bad bounce. And that brings up his 215. And that's a class shot. One of the rare boundaries today. Beautifully played. Extra cover. That's it. Stroked away quite elegantly, which is uh, really the way that he's played throughout this innings. 300. Mahela Jai Wardner, the 19th player in the history of the game to achieve it, and the second Sri Lankan. Well played, sir. Beautiful shot. The outfield has really quickened up. Another very good shot by Mahela Jai Wardenham. Smashed away. That's it. That's 350 for Jai Wardenham. So that's another milestone for Jai Wardenham. Tension for Brian Lara. Beautiful cover drive. Through for four. Three hundred and sixty-five. He's equal Gary Sobers. Three hundred and sixty-five not out. Brian Lara. He's past Leonard Hutton. Hutton made 364 at the Oval in 1938 against Australia. He's gone past that now, and he's level on equal standing with Gary Sobers. Crowd are going wild. Sobers is down on the boundary edge, waiting for Lara to score his next run. Bring in Tony Cozier, who's seen every test match in the Caribbean since 1965, to say a few words 
on this momentous occasion. Well, in fact, it's uh, just about the first time we've seen Brian Lara smile for the entire morning. His heart has been pumping, he's been breathing very heavily out there, but he's just got the one run to break the record. In the meantime, Shubhnarayan Chandapal takes strike. 302, you were in that test match, Bob Willis, in Barbados in 1974. Everyone thought that Lawrence Shaw on that occasion was batting so magnificently that Sober's record was in real danger then. Well, he was out for 302. We then saw this man, Brian Lara, 277 at the Sydney Cricket Ground last year, January, and he was batting so well that it looked as if that record also would have gone. Now, for the first time since 1958, a batsman is within one run of doing it. Lewis to Chanderpaul. That'll be the single that they've been waiting for. Chanderpaul moves on to 70. There are four balls left in Lewis's over. Now, what sort of field is Michael Atherton going to set? Brian Lara from Trinidad and Tobago and the West Indies is facing Chris Lewis on 365 not out. Atherton's got men in, saving the single all round the ground. Atherton's piling the pressure on Lara, making him wait. He wants his fielders in the right position. Nothing in this game of cricket comes easy, nor should it. He's not going to give him this run. Sobers waits on the boundary edge. His nerves jangling as well. The field is set. Everybody but third man and long leg is saving the single. Here comes Chris Lewis to Brian Lara. He's gone for the pearl, and there it is. Brian Lara has done it. The ball rockets into the boundary fence. The new world record holder is Brian Charles. It's down the ground. Beautiful on drive for four. Taking on Zimbabwe, Hayden was ferocious and relentless. He's finally got one through, Matthew Hayden. Wow. There he goes. Good use of the feet. Tremendous timing and power. Gone again. This is a better shot. This is over the top. And there it is. A century for Matthew Hayden. His 15th Test 100. His first in Perth. And his ninth in Australia. Moves to an even 100. Oh, he's hit that one beautifully. That's all the way. That's a long way back. And he's played a cracking shot. Don't worry about fieldsman. You can't stop that. Gosh, opened the shoulders and hit it straight over mid-off. Right. Yes. Through. That'll do it. Beautiful place from Matthew Hayden. And that brings up his double hundred. The second in Test match cricket to go with his 203 in Chennai a couple of seasons ago. Oh, straight through the bowlers, hands for four, right off the meat of the bat. That very nearly took his head off. His hands weren't up there quick enough to stop that one, I've got to tell you. Like, that's another big six. Oh, it's all happening. Have a look at that. That's a magnificent shot straight down the ground for six. He is absolutely murdering Zimbabwe. There's the 300 for Matthew Hayden. Direct hit. He's happy that he's home, though. And he's just the second man to make a triple century in Test cricket in Australia. It's out. Oh, dear. Well, from that, can we conclude that uh, he either doesn't know or no one's told him about the Brian Lara 375? And I reckon that's... 
six. He's hit that one. It's going to the boundary. No, it's not. It's going to be cut off down there. Back he comes for the second. That's equal the record. What a performance by Matthew Hayden for the highest score in the history of the game of Test cricket. Hayden and Lara together. 375. And that's it. That's a great shot. Up go the arms of Matthew Hayden. That is the world record. What a performance. Well, there we have it. Absolutely wonderful. It's time he sweeps. The man coming in. Yeah, he's got him. Carlisle takes a brilliant catch, and I think that'll be a declaration. Gilchrist is running off. So it's six for 735. Hayden out for 380. The end of a magnificent innings. One of the best of all time. bring back some memories of 1994 and that'll be it here's a 44th test match half century got it very fine now Harmonson will have a chase but he won't get there that's a very fine shot by Lara He's got it away and that's it. That's going to be Brian Lara's 25th Test 100. Wonderful shot. Well, David Lloyd called it. Looks very much as if there's a lot more to come. It's 150 for Brian Lara. He's off and running on one of those marathon innings once again. Lara is down the ground. That's going to be his first six. There it is. A claim all around the ground. From supporters of both teams and supporters of neither. He's down the track this time. Go and look for that one. And that's gone away for four. 250 for Brian Lara. That was hit hard. No one can say that he dropped that, but that was hit very hard. Theoretically, a catch that's about it. There he goes, that's a 300 for Lara, he'll get there comfortably. Second trip of century for Brian Lara, and he's D happy. It took him a long time to get runs in the series. But there's a gap there, and Lara's found it. 323. Now he's looking for the second. Butcher is the man coming in from deep mid wickets. He can't get there in time. So, Brian Lara reaches another milestone. 350 not out. Great shot. That's gone a long, long way. One more. The world record has fallen once again to Brian Charles Lara of Trinidad and Tobago and the West Indies the second time in his career that he's broken this record. And what a moment of history this is, a repeat performance. Ten 
years ago he set it and he's done it again at the very ground that's, that's a nice shot, shot. There it goes, down to Harmison again, 399, Lara will have the strike. Batty to Lara, there goes the sweep, there it is. Perhaps the most significant single ever in the history of Test Match Cricket. Brian Charles Lara becomes the first man in the history of the game to register a score of 400, 582 deliveries. 776 minutes with 43 fours and four sixes.